Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, yes, the best. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. Interesting news guys. Only a few days have passed since it on leaked shared Galaxy S23 Ultra renders, supposedly calculated based on leaked CAD designs. Additionally, the leaker provided Galaxy S23 and Galaxy S23 Plus renders, covered separately and subsequently. At Universe Ice has analyzed it on leaks S23 Ultra renders, highlighting a few differences between next year's flagship and the current Galaxy S22 Ultra. As this image shows, at on leaks renders suggest that the Galaxy S23 Ultra has slimmer bezels than its predecessor, for the most part even though the Galaxy S22 Ultra is no slouch in this department, appearing that Samsung has made a few improvements between generations. On the one hand, Samsung has reduced the bottom bezel thickness for the S23 Ultra, which now measures 1.9mm, down from 2.6mm on the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Additionally, the distance between the display edge and the frame has shrunk from 3.6mm to 2.8mm. Seemingly, Samsung has built the S23 Ultra with a thinner frame than the Galaxy S22 Ultra and on the other hand, there is a nominally wider gap between the display side and the frame, up from 2.3 mm to 2.4 mm. Presumably, this change is because of the square curvature that Samsung has adopted with the Galaxy S23 Ultra. In short, the Galaxy S23 Ultra has a thinner chin and a less curved look than its predecessor. However, Samsung is still no closer to achieving even bezels, which its competitors have already managed. Still, at Universe Ice considers the S23 Ultra as the best smartphone designed by Samsung yet, despite the overwhelming similarities between it and the Galaxy S22 Ultra. So with that said, let me end the discussion for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as well. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.